Watson's Bay, which is just northeast of Sydney. And you can see Sydney's skyline behind me, including some iconic buildings like the Westfield Tower. And behind me, we have a sailboat race. The ferries are going. And this is Watson's Bay right here. We are here at a lookout point just up from Watson's Bay. And right here is the entrance to Sydney Harbor, actually. So every day, cruise ships, tankers, freighters use this entrance and other commercial boats. It's amazing, isn't it? We're here at an even higher observation point. Back here is Sydney. You can even see the Sydney Harbor Bridge and the Westfield Tower. Here's the full opening of Sydney Harbor. Lots of boats that come in and out every day, in fact. Looks like there might be a tanker or a dredger coming out now. We just climbed up this. Wow, that's scary now that I look at it. And there's even a sign here that tells us we shouldn't do it. Oops. Here we have the remnants of a cannon here that points toward the harbor. Before this place where on was made a national park in 1985, it was owned by the army back to the days of British rule over Australia. So they would have fortifications to defend the harbor from attack and this is one of them. Here we have a lighthouse that was erected a long time ago because of two shipwrecks that took the lives of hundreds of crewmen. It was erected specifically so that people would not run into the dangerous rocks in the Sydney Harbor entrance. There are more erected down the road, which we'll check out soon, so that ships wouldn't crash far farther away from the har harbor. Here's one of the other lighthouses I was talking about down the road. It's a replica of the old lighthouse 